Liver cancer is a very challenging disease for us uh, because it's not only a malignancy like colon cancer or breast cancer, but all of these patients have the comorbidity of underlying liver disease and cirrhosis. For patients who are not cured, they will eventually progress to more advanced disease. For the past decade, the only drug available was serafinib. Serafinib does not necessarily shrink tumors, but helps control them, and by doing so, helps you live longer. But at some point, your tumor will grow, and at that point, you know, the option has historically only been a clinical study. There was the sense, well, this is the beginning of a new age in liver cancer research. There's gonna be many new drugs approved in the coming years, and even though there was great effort, there really have not been that many successes, unfortunately. Now we have a plan when we meet with patients that there will be a treatment sequence, serafinib, and at regression on serafinib, a transition to regorafinib. A three-month median improvement in overall survival is not only statistically significant, but clinically very significant. Over the past decade, we've been looking for new drugs in this space uh, without much success. And the fact that this study was a positive study is a big leap forward. With all that momentum, again, I have a lot of optimism that in the next few years we'll see more drugs playing a role in the treatment of liver cancer.